Hello and welcome to another video. Now, about uh, three years and some months ago, I went to my first e uh, PGConf EU, and that was in Warsaw. And there I was introduced to an amazing Slavic beverage called kvass. Kvass is a drink that's found across the Slavic world. It is basically a fermented drink made from bread. It's non-alcoholic. Um, effectively, it may have a very low alcohol content, but negligible. And um, it's very, very refreshing, especially in summer. Um, the product of uh, kvass itself is a product of both alcoholic and lactic fermentation. And so it is, um, uh, it's also a great probiotic because it has a lot of the lactobacillus in it. It's a great drink. Um, I have recently taught myself how to make it. Um, and I've also had it at a few uh, Russian restaurants here in Berlin. Now, uh, if you're an American, uh, if you're in the US and you're trying to figure out how to make kvass, you, your biggest obstacle is going to be finding a good rye bread for it. So I'd recommend looking for a Russian rye bread or some other like artisanal rye bread. Um, you need to have as much rye flour in it as possible. Um, a fully rye pumpernickel might be another option or even like a rye sourdough. Um, but probably best to stay away from caraway rye because, well, then you have a drink that tastes like caraway. But anyway, um, on to the ingredients. The ingredients here for kvass are actually pretty simple. We have um, about a pound or half a kilogram of a heavy rye bread. Now this is mostly rye, but it has a little wheat in it. You can also use a fully rye pumpernickel or something like that. Um, and basically we're gonna pretty close to burn this in the oven. We have yeast and we have sugar. And of course we'll have a lot of water. That's basically all there is to it as far as ingredients. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step is I'm going to um, lay my bread out on a cookie sheet. Uh, if you have a toaster at home, you can run it through the toaster a bunch of times at the darkest setting. You want to get this kind of semi-brown, uh, semi-burned. I wouldn't say semi-browned, I'd say semi-burned. You'll see what I mean as we get through this. And so, um, since I don't have a toaster and this is a lot of bread, I'm going to broil it in the oven. So I'll put the oven on the broiling setting. I'll put this up near the top. And basically we're going to dry this bread out in which it will shrink and we will uh, brown and burn it. If you can burn bread in your oven, you're halfway towards making kvass. Similar to what these uh, Finns say about burning cheese on the, uh, burning milk on the stove is halfway to making cheese. So these have been broiling now for about seven minutes and they're steaming a lot. As we cook them, we will be uh, removing a lot of the water from them. So I'm gonna flip them over especially once they start to curl up like this, and we're just gonna put them back. I've also started boiling six liters of water, um, which will be our main liquid for this. Now I'm gonna put these back, and we'll just keep letting them uh, broil until they're dried out and brown, or actually almost black. So now these may look badly overdone, but actually they're just about right. Um, some people like prefer to just work with um, raw, um, uh, stale rye bread. Um, others prefer to deeply, darkly toast it like this. You get a richer flavor if you toast it. Meanwhile, my water's boiled, and so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add it. You're gonna notice that these are so hot that actually they boil the water when, they, when it hits it. they don't hurt your hand so much because there's not really any surface area. So we're going to go ahead and let these um, uh, soak for several hours. Uh, better if it's overnight, but um, because I'd like to try to complete this in a reasonable amount of time, I will probably come back in maybe three hours or something to, uh, to show you uh, where it's at. One last point at this area is that you can add your sugar now and I like to do that because it dissolves better when the liquid's hot. So I'm just going to eyeball maybe two or three hundred grams. 
I'm going to let that um, dissolve as the uh, wort cools. We call this a wort in brewing. Um, then I'll add my yeast afterwards once it's cold, once it's close, to, once it's uh, barely warm. So now, after a few hours, uh, at least, we can pour off and strain the bread out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to pour it through a small strainer. So you can see that the bread is a bit lighter than it was when it came out of the oven. And basically I'm going to continue to let this drip, but I'm not going to press it or anything because um, if you do that, then it will stay much cloudier. Um, and again, traditionally, you at least need to dry out the bread. Um, but if you darken it like this, you get a much richer flavor. So here we are. Um, I'm keeping these in non-reactive uh, stainless steel pans, pots. But uh, at this point, you could transfer it into glass or something if you'd prefer. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and let this continue to cool. Once it cools, I'm just going to spread the yeast on top. I probably won't film that part, but then we'll come back tomorrow morning and look at it, see how it's going. So here, about midway past through day two, you can see stuff is um, definitely fermenting. We can start to drink this now, and it's fine. Um, I have a couple pieces of bread. Um, at the top, I'm just going to scoop them out. And from here, we're basically going to pour everything into the into something to hold it for drinking. And we'll continue to let it kind of ferment. Um, and it will continue to ferment over the next couple days. Uh, and it will go from being a bit sweeter to a bit more sour. This is... Um, might be better if I had uh, let it steep with the bread longer, but if this is still going to be quite delicious. So here we go. And uh, again, I can just keep this full and pour it off into cups going to pour some into a glass now to drink. And here we have our kvass. <clears throat> Next will be the taste test. But this is uh, this is kvass. I'm, I'm going to top this up a little bit. There we go. And now for the taste test. This is um, quite refreshing. It um, still has a little bit of sweetness, and I think that'll go away over the next day or two. Uh, you can really taste the sort of um, toast flavor to it. And the bread notes really come across very nice. Um, yeah, this is, this is quite nice. I'm quite happy with it. Enjoy.